Hi, I'm Dave Jacobs from Go Fast Racing, and I'm watching the banking. Thank you. Martin again with the banking, and we're not with none other than Mario Gosling. How are you doing, Mario? I'm pretty good, pretty good. Getting ready to go green here. We qualified second, so 300 we, laps. We won. We won practice. Didn't pay anything. <laughs> <laughs> qualified second, so he's got a big sense we'll, of humor. Uh, we'll just have to see if we can get out there and lead some laps and make it happen. For people that know know you, you've been racing for a long time. Would you tell us how you got started, what you were running well, up to today? I started down in South Florida, Hylia Speedway, yeah. uh, early 90s, 89, 90s. You know, running street stocks and uh, moved up to late models. Ran quite a few, you know, quite a few years of late model. Won championships uh, 93, 4, 5, and 97. And then uh, 99, started doing some ARCA, some ARCA uh, series. How many seasons uh, you did? How many seasons you did in ARCA? I never did any full seasons. Right. I always did, you know, a few races here and there. But I won uh, my first race that I did in ARCA was in 99 at Charlotte. Qualified on the pole, wow. won it. Wow. And then I won in Nashville in 03, and I won in Nashville in 06. And then you moved in the truck series? Did, did some truck stuff. Uh, you know, 09, 2010, I did the full season in truck. Okay. I did you like that? It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Just uh, the funding is hard to find. You know, you got you got to have sponsorship. I mean, the, the truck series, Xfinity series, even the Arca series is so expensive to have a competitive car. Is it harder for a French Canadian to run these series, try to get some funds? Than an American citizen? You I think? don't. I don't think so. No? It's 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 each individual person and. and you know, at the end of the day, I hate to say it, but it's who you know. Yeah. It's your contacts, your yes. connections. If you know some people, you know, if if yep. your dad has a really big business and he can maybe <laughs> get helps. some of the merchants to, you know, chip in. I mean, yeah. you know, it's just it, it's contacts and connection. I don't feel like it's been any harder for me. There's a lot of uh, American guys that I race with and, and we race together and we all have the same struggle. Now, let's talk about you can -M affiliation with Alex LeBay, it, it didn't start from this year. It started from way back a little bit. Well, I've been helping Alex for a long time. I mean, uh, you know, back when he ran his trucks and then, you know, the ACT cars, the super yeah. late model. I mean, I, you know, I've been helping him, you know, at least six or seven years, you know, um, help work on some cars. He brings some cars to Florida in my shop and I work on work them on. and help him get them, get them ready. And, uh, you know, so, yeah. We, you, we, you travel a lot. Travel quite a bit, quite well, a bit. Plane. All over the Especially place. Especially in a couple last week, last couple of weeks, you've been in the plane in and out of the plane yeah, to pretty, just to try to attempt this race. Pretty much, yeah. This this was kind of crazy here, um, but you know, it's it's just with with the weather and you know the cancellation last week, the postponement Friday. postponement Friday, um, with everything that's going on on the other side, you know, with Xfinity car over there, just back and forth, it's been kind of crazy. But yeah, just about every weekend, you know, probably. At least 35 weekends out of the year, I'm flying somewhere. You're racing Xfinity next couple of weeks, next week. Which there's track? a there's a chance I may drive at Daytona. Uh, we'll make final plans Monday. Okay. Excited about that? Uh, yes, I am. I was talking to Martin because Martin was in Granby, Autodrome Granby for Jeremy. Yeah. And we were talking about is is shot driving in Talladega. He enjoyed himself so much. We were good there. I mean, we got caught up in, in somebody else's accident, yeah. but uh, we were good. People don't doesn't understand how quick that happened and the reflex you need. There's nothing you can do. You're, Especially Daytona and Talladega. Is, you're three, you're three wide, ten rows deep, two hundred mile an hour. Somebody messes up up front. You're not going to stop. If you do, you're probably going to get hit from behind. Yeah. You know, there, there's you're either going to get caught in it or you're going to drive around it. Last question: What's your thought on Alex Labay this season and everything? The way it started, you started on a good note. Well, I, there's no doubt in my mind. Alex, you know, can win a lot of these races right. and he can win this championship. It's it's up to us, especially to, with you, to make the right calls. Yeah. Give him, you know, the equipment's there. Dave, yeah. Dave's got the right equipment. Alex can do the job. We just got to surround him with the right people and make the right decisions. A little bit of luck from the man upstairs. Yes. There you go. Well, really appreciate what you've done yep. with us, and we'll be following you throughout the, the Quebec races. So thank you so much we for your time. We appreciate that. Anytime. We'll be watching you today closely because we know it's uh, Alex home track. Thank you.
first practice of the day with the NASCAR Pinty Series here at Oro Tourier. As you can see, the guys are putting some lap on. It's 10 a.m. and we're feeling the sound, feeling the power. Let's get ready and let's watch what they're doing. at Valley Junction, Autodrome Chaudière, and with, with uh, the truck driver, Randy. How are you doing, Randy? I'm doing good. So, I met you last year. I was a part-time uh, pick crew on the team, and that's, I worked with you. That's true, yeah. And uh, you've been around for a long time. Can you ah. explain when you started, how you got involved in the NASCAR Pinties? Well, I started when it was still called the Cascar Series. Yes. And uh, I happen to know uh, a fellas that was racing his dad. Him and I went to school, and they were looking for a second truck driver to run out west. So that's how I got started. And then from there, it's, I've been going with Dave now. This is my 10th season with Dave. 10 years with Dave. Yeah. You saw many drivers in that team. Oh, many, many drivers. Uh, Andrew Rangers won. Uh, you I, won many races with him, you guys. Two championships. Two championships with Andrew. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Impressive, huh? Yeah. Especially in that series. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Alex Tagliani, uh, Jacques Villeneuve. Jacques Villeneuve, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah I remember, yeah. Sainter Stash and all that stuff. Yeah, uh, Trois Rivières. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Pete Shepard, he, he uh, raced for us for a season. He was down uh, working with Jack Rouse on the Gong Show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, developmental driver down there. Uh, so, Isabel Tremblay. Yeah, <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah. Explain to me, you drive the truck. It's a very important job. You got to be on time. You're always ahead of everyone. And what what do you do when you get to the track? Well, usually I, I try to I try to get to the track with with lots of time in case I do have a problem on the highway, a flat tire, anything, yeah. right? So so then yeah. So then usually when I get to the track, I'll get the truck the night before. And then uh, what's the first thing when the truck is parked? What do you do? Get ready for the, the NASCAR signal to unload. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I met him last year. You know, we we're in the Grand Prix through River, and we had to work our butt off <laughs> and really tight corner underneath a tunnel. And then we got a sharp entry for the promo day on Thursday. That's right. You remember that? Yeah, we did a, a show downtown where we <laughs> dropped the cars off downtown. In a spot where trucks really shouldn't have been. But, but that was great. It was so <laughs> tight. And I was like, wait, yes, come on, come on. He had to back up on, a, I guess, like a bottom of a hill yeah, to yeah. be able to swing around because it was so tight, the entrance, because it's kind of a long trailer anyway. Eh? Yeah, 53 foot trailers. Yeah. 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 And we, I'm having so much fun with this guy. He's <laughs> always happy, always smiling. You do other really important things on the road courses and stuff like that. You do spots also. I, I, I'm a backup spotter for the team. We have a second car I spot. So, when you see that trailer on the highway, beep, 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 he will reply to you. And <laughs> this, <sure>. guy, <laughs> this guy's got a really important job. He's bringing the car and all the tools and all the equipment for each race. He's always ahead of the team and stuff, and get they're ready. And it's because of him. <laughs> so, we'll be following you a little bit more during the day, see what you're, been, you're going to be up to and stuff like that. So, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Martin. All right. Nice work on you, yes. buddy. Okay, now... Yeah. All right, Martin here for the banking and we're not other than Kate and Lapsevich. Last year, championship winner. How are you doing? Good, yourself? Pretty good. So last year, short year for you, was a pretty impressive race yeah. with you and Alex LaBay. 
you guys fought to the nail the last 30, 40 laps to the race. You finished second. You came that close to your first win. What's your thought on that race that happened last year? It was, it was your first time that you show up at that track. Yeah, it was, you know, it was awesome to come here and, you know, be competitive and run with Alex, who has thousands and thousands of laps here. So, you know, I'll, when running with him, I learned a lot from him at the same time, you know, stuff I can apply uh, this year. This so, year, yeah. you know, I'm really excited for it. I think uh, we're going to be good this year. You know, we were P2 in practice. The car's really hooked up. So, you know, I'm excited to see what we got uh, for 300 laps here later on. Last year, it was a night race. What's the changes you had to do on the car to prepare for this afternoon race? Because we know it's a lot warmer, the track, and the corners are probably more slippery. Yeah. Um, you know, we came here sort of with a different setup than we did last year. You know, we came to be a bit uh, freer, so it would help me turn in the center okay. a bit better. And, you know, I think even with it being a bit hotter, that's, you know, sort of helping us a little okay. bit too. So, you know, now we're just working on, we worked on getting the car to drive off the corner really well because we were a bit loose off. And, you know, we didn't want to ruin my center because it was really good. Yeah. So, you know, we just... We sort of go baseline everywhere and then just sort of adjust for what the weather okay. gives us. So what's your expectation for the qualification? The pole? <laughs> I'd hope so. Top three? Pole. Yeah, that'd be good. You know, I don't want to start far back, so, you know, starting far back, I'll have a lot of work to do. I'll use up my stuff. So, yeah. you know, we can start around the top five. Top three or four would be nice. So um, I'm not much of a qualifier, but, you know, I think... I think you're doing pretty good. I think we'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, not to worry. <laughs> you got three win last year. Yeah. Uh, you won the championship aiming for the same thing this year yeah you know i don't think we can top really what we did last year but um you know i think we can go out and contend for another championship and you know try and contend for ovals or wins on the ovals again and you know maybe try and win a road course this year they're pretty impressive with what they're doing you know you're running on a limited budget yep. last year you're supposed to show up for a few races then you date the whole season because you're pretty good in the point and yep. now, what, what you're at in the points right now in the championship? Uh, we're sixth right now, but we got a bad race. Yeah, that happened in, last Delaware. Week in Delaware. So we're going to try and make up for that here tonight. Okay. 16 cars. If you're starting in the top five, 300 laps, you should be up front pretty much the whole race. Eh? That would be ideal, yeah. There you go. So we wish you good luck. And Thank we'll you. be keeping an eye out for you, my friend. All right. Sounds good. Thank, Thank you. you.